A few months ago, I counted down Electronic Gaming Monthly's best reviewed shoot 'em ups of all time, which included everything from Axley to Tempest 2000. Like so many other things, the video, well, it came and went. But you know what? A funny thing happened after I uploaded it to YouTube. In just the last 15 weeks, we've seen a surprising amount of those shooters get proper ports. You may remember that the first came when In In Games published a remastered version of G Darius on modern consoles. This was then followed a few weeks later when Nintendo included Star Fox 64 as part of their Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack. And if that wasn't enough, today we learned that Retrobit Publishing will be offering up their own limited edition reproduction cartridges of the Genesis great Gyrus, which you can go and pre-order right now. Man, who knew that my little shoot 'em up list would turn out to be this prophetic? Obviously, the big news here is that Gyrus is coming back. Sure, I wish it was getting ported to modern consoles so that more people could experience this wonderful shooter. But on the other hand, I'm just happy that this masterpiece is being remembered at all. And if you've watched my countdown of EGM's favorite shooters, then you already know why. It's because this one-and-done classic from Renovation was every bit as innovative as it was exciting. I mean, it allowed the player a chance to literally steal the enemy's weapons, a mechanic we would later see used to great effect in G. Darius. Gyrus was also a critic's darling, earning high marks from every publication that reviewed it in 1991. Spoiler alert, I guess, but it ended up ranking as Electronic Gaming Monthly's third favorite shoot 'em up of all time, as well as the top rated 16 bit shooter. And it's easy to see why EGM, GamePro, MegaPlay, and the rest of the media fell in love with Gyrus. I mean, beyond stealing the enemy's weaponry, we're also treated to surprisingly compelling cinemas and some of the coolest bosses you've ever seen. This is an expertly crafted game that should have spawned a half dozen sequels and reignited the shoot 'em up flame in everybody's hearts. Sadly, that's not what happened. In the last 30 years, Gyrus has largely been forgotten. It never made its way onto any of those Genesis compilations and somehow missed the cut when Nintendo was running the Virtual Console. Without sequels or ports, this is one of those classic 16-bit games that people have stopped talking about over the years, leading to generations of gamers that don't even know Gyrus exists. The sad fact is that if you know Gyrus at all, it's probably because of this unfortunate marketing campaign from the early 1990s. Instead of highlighting the massive bosses and even the ability to steal powers from your enemies, Renovations decided to make Jamie Bunker the spokesperson for Gyrus. No pictures or characters from the game to get you excited, just a 17 year old with a mullet telling you that it's number one. Alright, look, to be fair, Jamie's other Gyrus advertisement does do a slightly better job promoting the actual game. I mean, you can see it running there in the background. Which you gotta admit is already a huge improvement over that other spot. And hey, look at that! Those are the issues of EGM and GamePro that I mentioned a couple of minutes ago. That's pretty cool. On the other hand, it still feels like these ads are all about Jamie and not the game. Gyrus is essentially reduced to being a blurry image in the background. I hate that this game is best known for what amounts to a meme. Like I said before, this is a legitimate classic. I mean, it's literally EGM's highest scoring 16-bit shoot 'em up which is really saying something I don't think you fully understand how big that is. People should remember Gyrus for the inventive gameplay mechanics, the amazing bosses, and the stylish cinemas. Every single part of this game goes above and beyond what was expected of a side-scrolling shooter in 1991. And that is why it should be remembered next to the genre titans like Gradius and R-Type. For their part, it does look like Retrobit Publishing is doing the game justice. I like that it has a reversible cover, allowing you to switch between the cartoony American cover and the more serious and far more attractive international box art. It'll also come with a full color instruction manual and this certificate of authenticity, as well as a cool looking translucent tech type cartridge. Now, when it comes to the extras, both of the items seem to be related to the infamous marketing campaign from the early 1990s. 
Apparently, we're going to be getting an interview with Jamie Bunker, who also went as far as to recreate his iconic advertisement for this new release. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny, and I have to admit, I'm genuinely curious to hear what he has to say. The Q&A promises to dig into how he got involved with Gyrus, his reaction to seeing that advertisement, and, of course, that hair. Look, if nothing else, I'm just happy to see that he's no longer rocking the mullet in that brand new picture. The other extra is a free commemorative shirt for those who pre-order, which looks almost exactly like the one that was given out back when Gyrus was first released. I'm one of those people who bought the game back in the day, but never got a shirt. Better late than never, I suppose. Now, there is one thing that I really like about how Retrobit is handling this pre-order. As I'm sure you already know, the problem with a lot of these physical releases is that many of them sell out, well, instantly. Often to scalpers who will sell them for three or four or five times the price on eBay. Thankfully, that's not the case when it comes to Gyrus. Retrobit is going to be taking pre-orders between now and December 19 which should allow them to fill everybody's order without running into the usual issues. Let me tell you, as somebody who's been screwed over by limited edition games selling out in like seconds, I much prefer when a company goes this route. Just as long as you get your order in before December 19th, you should be golden. So if you have a Genesis lying around and enjoy these reproduction cartridges, then I would seriously consider getting Gyrus. Honestly, it's one of my favorite shoot 'em ups of all time. And it's a game that more people need to discover. This will be the first chance many gamers will have to buy the game, which is both exciting and a little bit depressing. If you're looking for a genre-defining shooter that you probably haven't played before, then you can't go wrong with Gyrus. It's currently $54.99 via pre-order. You can find a link to more information in the description box below. Hey, thanks for watching me complain about the way that renovation sold Gyrus back in the day. It feels good to finally have that off my chest. Now, here's the question I have for you. What classic shoot 'em up do you want to see re-released next? Either on modern consoles or through these reproductions, what shooter should make a comeback? Let me see your picks in the comments below. In other news, we'll have a huge announcement on Thursday. That's when we're going to be unveiling the 12-part holiday series that'll take us through the rest of the year. I'm telling you, you're not going to want to miss it. Seriously. Now, in the meantime, I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then, 